There is a giant among us. The bronze likeness of Jesse Chisholm towers 30 feet above the intersection of State Highway 33 and US 81. It's an imposing landmark, both for its size and sentiment. But the giant I'm referring to is the visionary responsible for this monument, artist John Gooden. I care an awful lot about the community of Kingfisher. Although I've grown up here and lived a lot of my life here, it wasn't until more recent times that I really began to feel like I understood the place in a certain way. Part of my understanding, I think, is its potential. John Gooden envisions a community where the present touches the past and where the heroes of history continue to live among us. I thought of, you know, wow, I really should do Jesse Chisholm. We've got the museum here, you know, we've got the, this whole connection to Highway 81. He was a half Cherokee himself, um, half Scott, and he was an ambassador. You know, he, he bridged those two worlds of the advancing white man and the Indian Territory. Um, he traveled among all these different tribes out here on the plains, spoke 10 different languages or more of the Indian dialects, and um, he was respected as a chief. Every detail in a John Gooden sculpture has a story to tell, right down to the base that the monument will be mounted upon. I was very fond of a particular bluff out on the Cimarron River uh, where my mother grew up and where I played as a kid. Um, and so I wanted to put that sculpture up on a replica, reproduction of that uh, bluff. The Jesse Chisholm statue was taller than the building he was to be sculpted in. So John moved the project outside and continued to push forward through all kinds of extreme weather. When I look at it, I'm really not conscious of the sacrifice involved in making it, although there was a lot of it. And with any art project, there was the issue of funding. This sculpture is something I did uh, because of my love for Kingfisher and my um, strong feelings about this project. Um, we got a couple of grants from the uh, Centennial, which uh, had I done the project a little differently um, would have perhaps been very profitable. Uh, but I had in my mind a particular way, a size, everything about it uh, that I wanted to do. And I'm uh, looking for ways to still finish paying for it. Drivers by might assume that a monument of this magnitude would be the crowning accomplishment in a long celebrated career, a signature piece. But John Gooden is a young guy, and he's just getting started. Um, soon I'll do a sculpture of William Coleman, who started the Coleman Company here in Kingfisher. Kingfisher is also the birthplace of Walmart founder Sam Walton. So John built this tribute to Mr. Walton and his beloved dog, Old Roy. Kingfisher is full of great stories, and I plan to you know, fill the whole town with sculptures about um, you know, Kingfisher and its many stories. Some of those stories will be told on this very corner, including a coming soon sculpture of Cheyenne medicine man, Lame Bull. It's a trailhead for our downtown walking tour. Where plaques tell the vivid tales behind historic Main Street buildings, from Oklahoma Territory's first pharmacy to the spot where a man wielding a Winchester defended his claim. In an era where funding for public art is not an easy find, this man forges ahead, giving up his time, his imagination, and sometimes his own wallet. In return, he has but one simple request. I would really like it if people would just come. Come see it, come appreciate it, I hope, and uh, as this project develops and as we uh, do bigger and better things on this corner and, and for Kingfisher. At six foot two, John Gooden is a fairly tall man, but it's his dedication to history, love of community, and propensity to dream big that make him truly a giant. In Kingfisher, I'm Shell Wagner.